Berkshire Hathaway chairman and CEO Warren Buffett reportedly says car insurer Geico suffered greater losses from Hurricane Harvey compared to Hurricane Irma due to the massive flooding in Texas. In an interview with the Wall Street Journal, he says, it is very hard to give numbers, but there were more total losses by quite a margin in Harvey as opposed to Irma. Joining me right now is the chairman and CEO of Chubb, Evan Greenberg, is with us. And Evan, it is good to see you this morning. Good to see you, Thank Maria. you so much for joining us. A assess what we've seen in this last month. Pretty extraordinary. Your company is a major property and casualty insurer in Florida, in Texas. What, how do you see what just is taking place? We've had three hurricanes and two earthquakes in a month's time. The, the suffering, the enormity of the tragedy, the, just to human life, um, you know, our hearts go out to all these people, and our job is to is to support them in their time of need right now. Tell me about that support, what you're doing. Can you characterize where the real damage has been done from Harvey, Irma, or now Maria? Um, you know, um, Harvey was more of a, a flooding event than a wind-related event. And I think that's the Berkshire comment about more impact to automobiles. Irma was an enormous event, more wind-driven than flooding-driven. And then Maria and the, the, the damage it did through the Caribbean and now Puerto Rico, um, wind and, and rain damage just to, to people's homes, to buildings, um, to their individual lives. And that's the, that's the commonality of all three events. Yeah, and, and Puerto Rico is without power this morning. How long does it take to recover from things like this? When you look at the kind of damage we're talking about, first off, what would you say the damage is in terms of a, in terms of a cost? What, what, what's your assessment so far? You know, no one has a, a great handle on this yet, but, you know, it has to be in the 50 to $70 billion range um, in total. Um, among all three events anyway, mm. let alone let's not forget the two earthquakes in Mexico and the, the tragedy of that. It really it's is. It's just unfolding right now. You still see the images of that. What do you want to see in terms of the private sector versus the government? I mean, on Capitol Hill, you know, the, we just heard from Paul Ryan. They're saying that the government is working hard on this, but you feel that the private sector can really be stepping up. We need more private, less government, no? In... When it comes to, to, to disaster relief, disaster recovery, that's a, that's a role for government. And government always has a role to play in that beyond the role of the private sector. But when it comes to insuring these events, particularly when you get to the peril of flood insurance, the private sector can do much more. And frankly, the government distorts markets. It distorts behavior of individuals by underpricing and encouraging people to live in areas where they're at peril. The other thing is a lot of people didn't even have flood insurance, right? Exactly yeah. right. Exactly right. And, you know, it's, a, it's for a couple of reasons. One could be that they simply determined not to buy it. But another is people who were, you know, who are, who are less fortunate and, and therefore they can't afford it. Um, that's where the government's role is when people are forced to live somewhere but yet they're exposed to the peril that's where government and society decides to subsidize but beyond that it's the role for the private sector what, 